Capricorn, welcome to your general reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome in. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Social media links, personal readings, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Those have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as an a tip or donation to the channel. Your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys, and I truly love to do this. So your support to help this channel grow and flourish and get the messages out to the people that need to hear them is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Capricorn, second half of September already. Can you believe that? Can you believe that, Capricorn? Wow. Hope everybody's doing well. Alrighty. So, and my cards are upside down. So let's see. Oh, I think they're all mixed up. Oh, well. Uh, okay. So let's see what is going on with Capricorn. This is a general reading, but if you can fit it into any kind of situation in your life, whether, whether it be love, romantic, whatever, totally fine. You fit it as you see. So... Let's see what we get here. If you don't resonate, this is Zodiac Oracle. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. The rest of the message may be for you. If you clicked on the link, something drew you to the title. So something may be in here for you. Take what resonates and throw away the rest. All right. So we have Saturn energy, which is Capricorn. So there you go. There's your energy. So Saturn is all about ambition, goals, Security, lessons, and challenges. Hmm. It's feeling, are you feeling very ambitious about something? Or are you having goal? Do you have goals right now that you're very ambitious about um, attaining? Or it could be about lessons and challenges. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And you have 19 there, which equals 10. 10's our endings. And then you always have one, which is a be new beginning. And look at Capricorn. Look at this. You have 10 and 10. So major completion, I feel maybe for some of you here and uh, something new beginning, perhaps one in one is two, which speaks about um, unity in some way. All right, so and you know, I just those circular uh, image there, you know, something may be coming to uh, challenge, you know, a cycle may be coming to an end. Full circle, something may be coming full circle for you. It's like something's coming full circle, but then you have something new in your hand, grasped in your hand here, and it's just waiting to hatch, I'm getting. Kind of looks like, an, it's not an egg, it's like an orb, but it's like you're closing out something here, but you got something new that you're just waiting to hatch. If that makes sense for some of you. Okay. Capricorn, Capricorn. Let's see if we get one more shuffle. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what your main message is. What's going on with Capricorn? Second half of September. Spirit, please. What is their energy like? What's going on with them? What's the message for them? One card, please. Thank you. All right, so we have transformation. Things are changing in it on at a cellular level. Deep healing. Wow, and did I not just say transformation and changing? Because I do feel like, and you know, bringing closure, something ending, and then a new beginning is all about transformation and change. And it, you know, you could be healing over something too. Uh, whatever um, you're trans, you know, transforming out of changing involve healing so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have M Rama where are you being called to journey to so I feel like you could be just following let's see what's under there so you do have your angel teams your guides ancestors pastor over loved ones all here 
helping you, trying to guide you, supporting you, sending you light, love, and blessings, sending you, trying to send you message, messages, signs here that whatever you're doing, whatever transformation, whatever cycle you're completing, whatever endeavor that you're embarking on now, that they're all um, helping in this divine orche orchestration and helping you and guiding you and sending you light, love, and blessings in every single way. And I feel like you're now realizing what your true calling is and trying to find your journey, where you need to journey to, what is your true calling. Wow. So let's clarify with some tarot. Make sure you can see that. All right. Let's see. What is going on for you, Capricorn? What are you transitioning? What are you, um, what cycle are you completing? What's going on with you, Capricorn? All right, can we have some more energy for Capricorn? Can we clarify with the Tarot Spirit, please? Thank you so much, Capricorn. Second half of September, please. Thank you so much. It's kind of a big deck, so I got tiny hands. Oh, we got three here. So, wow. And there you go, Queen of Pentacles. That's your energy can be male or female. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Kindness, but the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who now is... See, it's like, wow. <laughs> I had just said, it's like you have this new beginning in your grasp, and you're just waiting for, the, for it to hatch to fruition. But first, you're closing out a cycle. And you have this new opportunity, this new beginning, this new endeavor, whatever it is here you're going for. It's something stable and grounded, something secure. And you're just waiting for that to hatch here. Wow. And this is your energy. So it is something stable and secure. Queen of Pentacles is very smart and practical. Uh, growth, abundance, prosperity. So feeling in your energy here, Capricorn. And, wow, we got the Queen of Swords, Resilience, and the Nine of Swords. So, so even though I feel like you could uh, be very strong, practical, and stable, you're the, you know, the Queen of Swords is resilient. So either you're getting wise counsel, wise advice from somebody, because the Queen of Swords ener energy is somebody who could be of uh, wise counsel, uh, guidance of some kind, can also talk of maybe legal assistance or someone in the legal field also. If it's not that, that just could be your energy now of seeing things clearly, like you're resilient now. That air energy is um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So you're seeing things clearly. You have a clear conscious mind. Uh, you have truth and clarity. You know, the sword here, you cut away things no longer serving you as you're closing out cycles here. Standing up for yourself, what you believe in, not taking any BS, telling it like it is kind of energy. So if it's not wise counsel of some sort here or guidance, then this is just your energy of standing up for yourself and having truth and clarity, clear cut communication, being very stable and grounded. And, you know, you do have anxiety with the Nine of Swords here. So, you no, know, maybe you do have some worries and stress, anxiety, nervousness, anxious energy, as you're completing one thing and then waiting for that new thing also, or you know, waiting for that new thing to come into fruition or making plans, you know, for this new opportunity. So let's get more clarity on this. Wow, a lot of air energy here. So yeah, your four of swords energy here is rest, recovery, recuperating, taking time out taking time alone, thinking, contemplating, healing again. So whatever's going on here, you're really thinking things out thoroughly. You're taking time for yourself, recouping, uh, regenerating, resting here on your own. But then you have this brand new beginning. Again, victory, success, the sword of victory and success. Brand new beginning, having that truth and clarity, cutting away things not serving you. Again, standing up for yourself, what you believe in, um, not taking any BS. The Queen of Swords is holding this Ace of Swords, the Sword of Victory. Though there's still some fear and anxiety 
and healing, resting energy, and thinking, contemplating. So let's get some more. What is your actual situation like for you, Capricorn? Second half of September. Second half of September. Oh, that's way too many. Second half of September. I want about three cards. One, two. Oh, that's too many. This one. Three. Oh my God, look at all this air energy. Holy crap. <laughs> Either you have a lot of air in your chart or you are definitely dealing with an air person because we have air, air, air. We have seven cards of air. Holy moly. So we have the three of swords. So this is heartache, pain um, situation here. Knight of swords. So there might have been somebody here who rushed in with the knight of swords and caused some drama. But you have the King of Swords, so I feel like uh, I feel like here you took control of the situation, whatever it is, whatever here tr tried to cause you trouble or drama in some way. I mean, I see you like having a new beginning, closing out a cycle, having a new beginning, beginning here. But there's heartache and pain over something of the past here, somebody that was causing drama for you. But now we have the King and Queen of Swords, so. I definitely feel like it's you just really taking control of the situation. Or again, you could you could be in that energy and also, again, seeking wise guidance, counsel, even authoritative figures in some way over a situation. But somebody here had to take control over this person who came in and caused chaos and drama, which hurt you here. I don't know what that was um, here. I don't know, let's get more clarity, see if we can see. Now we have the uh, Empress, and we have the Five of Cups. So the Empress is, um, I do believe that's Libra and Taurus. And we have Water Energy here, um, Cancer, Gemini, Pisces. So, so, I mean, the Empress to me and the Queen of Pentacles is almost like the same exact energy. So, even though you've had sadness over a situation here, sadness and hurt and sorrow over a loss or something here, you know, you still know your value and your worth here with the um, Empress energy. So, I feel like you're transforming forming and healing over something that was... Maybe that's why you had an ending. Something happened where there was maybe a confrontation, a fight, drama, or there was just wherever you were before, there was just too much drama. Look at all these swords. So, I mean, too much just negative energy and drama. And uh, it was like like a, a bad situation like all the time. And I feel like here you just t finally took control and realized I need to just take this sword and just end it here. So, and now you're working on a new beginning. Now you know your value and your worth, that you're not worth this hurt and sorrow, sadness that you feel every day, this pain every day, whether it was a work situation, a living situation, a relationship. Here, you just realized, you know what? I'm done with that. I know my value and my worth. I can have abundance on my own. I can make new plans. I can have a new start. I'll go somewhere else, start something new as you have it in your hand right there. So I think it didn't take you long to find something more abundant as we have abundance here. So I hope that makes sense. So let's see uh, what your advice is. What is the advice for Capricorn in this situation? What is the advice for Capricorn? In this situation, spirit, please. What is the advice for Capricorn? Whatever they're going through right now in this situation. We have two cards, please, spirit. Thank you so much. One, two. Wow. So, and I had said here, it didn't take you long to find something new, a new beginning, a new adventure, a new endeavor, a new career opportunity, whatever it is for you, a new home, a new whatever here. This is growth, Ace of Wands, another brand new beginning. You have two beginnings here, the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Something you're very fiery, passionate about. 
going after it with it with a lot of drive and ambition. It's either an adventure, it's um, career related, um, an endeavor, something here. This is gonna, going to be a lot of growth. And then you have the moon energy. So, Cancer Pisces here with illusion. Just be careful. Um, you may see this new opportunity as something that's very, um, has a lot of growth and abundance to it. But find all, out all the facts before you jump on this. With the moon energy, there may be things you don't know about this new opportunity, this new adventure, whatever it is for you. Um, here, because the moon is about illusions, not seeing things clearly. Um, being a little confused here, listening to your intuition, so find out everything you need to know, listen to your gut and intuition, find out all the facts before you jump and have this brand new beginning here. So let's get a couple clarifiers on that. So yeah, the chariot and the seven of pentacles. So again, <laughs> this is like two conflicting energies. So you're going, to, you're going to want to move very, very quickly and jump on this new opportunity with the chariot, which is that fast action movement forward, moving forward, you know. And this is a very balanced energy. It's very successful, going after what you want, a lot of ambition and drive. And here is that opportunity, the brand new beginning. It's like you just want to go, go after it very, very quickly. But the moon is telling you, make sure you know all the facts. You know everything you need to know on this first and the seven of pentacles is also here to say yes there is potential here but take your time pentacles are very slow so you have the chariot which is very very quick and fast pentacles are very slow so your advice is to balance out your energy to take don't rush take a little bit of a slower approach you know, you do see the potential in this brand new beginning. So again, with the pentacles, there probably will be growth and abundance and expansion. But it's patiently waiting on this potential. So it's telling you here to, again, be patient and take a more slower approach. And don't just rush and jump in on it and find out everything you need to know about this uh, opportunity this new beginning, whatever it is for you, as with the Ace of Swords here, which is that truth and clarity, that big epiphany, aha moment, realization. So you may find something out about this that you may not like so much, and you might have to work around that. You may have to get legal advice because you've got the King and Queen of Swords, which can be legal department, you know, someone in the legal field of some way that may offer you guidance and advice on a situation that you may have to work out contracts and things of that nature. All right, so let's see whether it's a career, a job, a home, something in the legal field where you have to work out all the kinks, contracts. All right, so let's see what your outcome will be. You jump on this, you go in this new direction. What will your outcome be for Capricorn? Second half of September, what will their possible outcome be? Wow, so the Knight of Pentacles, loyalty. So you will act on this. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Knights are about action and movement forward. The Knights though, again, is a very, Pentacles a very slow moving energy. And the Pentacles are your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is telling you what your possible outcome will be here is that you will move forward with this offer, but in a very slow, practical, smart, wise approach. No rushing. So I feel like you will. You'll take things very carefully, very slowly, practically. Get all the wise advice, guidance that you need. Things worked out however way you need to. And move forward very slowly. So let's get more. Okay, they're telling me top and bottom. Four of Wands. So there's your security, your home life, fire energy here, your home, your uh, security, your base, your foundation, your home life, your marriage, your, um, could be ceremony celebrations. It could be cer some kind of ceremony here, like inducting you into this cooperation, into this, whatever it is here. And here's the high priest. So that is the Hierophant 
kind of energy. It's Taurus. So wisdom here. So I feel like whatever the outcome is here, it will be right, moral, and just. It will be for you to have faith. This is faith, spirituality. You see like this offer. So I feel like you can trust this offer, but still take a slow practical approach in this. And I do see, you know, more stability for you. Reward, again, I feel like, you know, the high priest, maybe from the higher um, CEOs, uh, whatever here, and whatever it is for you, there will be some sort of reward for you in, here, in this situation. And you will be very um, stable and secure and abundant. I mean, you could be going into something into the religious field also, or, you know, just having that faith and spirituality in this um, moving forward. And that this is something you can trust. But again, be practical and smart and wise and move forward slowly. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Pentacles. So there you go. Security, abundance, stable energy, happy home and family. Having all the resources that you need moving forward. Never, never having to worry. Luck, abundance, and growth. The Ace of Pent Wow, Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, prosperity. There's your brand new beginning, prosperity. You will have this brand new beginning. It'll take you all the way to the Ten of Pentacles, where you will have that success, growth, abundance, wealth, prosperity. Wow. Two of Pentacles. So you know, juggling things around in your mind, in your head. That's why you have the Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety over things. Things ending, things starting, new opportunities, going in a new direction, transforming, healing from all this. Feel very conflicted, ne negative energy from the past, whatever your situation was here. Juggling, you know, looking at your options. And the magician, so you will manifest this brand new beginning. Uh, Gemini Virgo energy here. So using all your tools and resources, your cup, emotions and feelings, compassion, wands with drive and ambition, swords with clarity and truth. Pentacles with stability, security, moving forward. So, yep, moving forward in this new beginning after you, you know, release all this juggling energy and having this brand new, abundant, prosperous beginning that will take you all the way through your lifetime. Wow. Capricorn. So let's get some extra guidance for you. Let me see all the cards. These are big cards, so I want to make sure you can see them all. All right, so let's get some extra guidance and messages for you, Capricorn. Extra messages and guidance for Capricorn. Second half of September. Definitely feel like... You are definitely going on a new journey here, in a new direction here. In your team behind the scenes there that you don't see, your angels, your guides, ancestors, pastoral loved ones are trying to lead you in the right direction. All right, that makes sense for you. What are some extra messages and guidance for Capricorn? Second, oh, that's way too many. Second half of September spirit, please. Just a few, one or two at a time. I don't want to clump. Thank you so much. Nine, solitude. So this is the hermit energy, again, because we have the four swords over here. So again, this is the energy of not rushing this, to take your time to really think, contemplate again, reviewing all the documentation, you know, reviewing everything you need to know and really thinking long and hard and taking a slow practical approach here with the hermit energy. Wow. All right, so nine there, and we did have the nine of cups. Uh, did we have the nine of cups here? No, we didn't, okay. But we have the nine of swords, so that's stress, anxiety. All right, what else for Capricorn? What else for Capricorn spirit, please? Thank you so much. Three, heartache and loss. Wow, and we had the three of swords over here, which was heartache and loss. So definitely here, 
whatever painful thing you went through in the past here that you just finally realized that you needed to get out of. It's the, all the sword energy. I just not getting a good, like, peaceful feeling, feeling about that. I feel like very cutting energy, like wherever you were before, like people bickering, stabbing each other in the back, uh, like nervous anxiety energy and like almost like a fear, not a fear, but like just ugh, kind of energy. And maybe, you know, you had made friends there and maybe, you know, it's hard to leave. But now we have the throat chakra again with all the sword energy here is with the throat chakra. Blue represents, you know, air energy, throat chakra, communication, um, honesty, truth, conversation here. Wow. As I had five change. So definitely making big changes here. Big changes. Throat chakra. I, I definitely feel all that, like, I don't know if it was verbal abuse, just a lot of backstabbing, people just saying things and they didn't care what they said, how they said it to each other. I just, uh, ugh, just a lot of yucky energy. And, you know, the Capricorn does represent the devil in the tarot, so that's toxic energy. So, so now we have two, intuition, which is the high priestess, so Cancer Pisces energy. So I feel like here you really listen to your gut, your intuition, listen to divine source here with all that energy over there. And really realizing and knowing, like you saw the signs, you just finally said, I've had enough. You listened to your gut and your intuition, and you just left that nasty situation. So let's see what hot chakra. So we have four. Four is about basis stability. So, you know, your hot chakra is all about opening up your heart to love, emotions, feelings. So... And let's see what's under there. Yeah, trapped in fear, exactly. And we had we had the nine of swords there with the stress and anxiety. So again, I feel like wherever you were, it was just like you maybe you felt like you were trapped there. It was like a very not a, I don't know, maybe a fearful situation. Like maybe you were afraid to leave or you didn't know what the repercussions would be. It was just very icky energy here. More air energy here. Again with the foundation and achievements here. So and the hot chakra. So I think you followed your heart and you did what was best for you, knowing you had to leave this. It was not serving your heart or your soul or your stability or your nerves. <laughs> two, two fours here with double stability, foundation, and achievement. So I feel wherever you're going now, you'll be much more secure and grounded uh, moving forward. It'd be better for your heart, your soul here. And triumph. So there's the uh, chariot energy again. So again, moving forward, you will be triumphant in this. Yep. You will be triumphant. And that is the energy to a rushing full steam ahead, but also with the energy here of taking your time as you move forward. Well, Capricorn, if this didn't resonate for you, check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe you'll find something there that will resonate for you more. And I do consider all my readings timeless, so I'd say disregard the dates. Um, if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. And, and I love to read the comments. So good luck to you here in your situation. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.